Blast off! We're back, everybody. We're here once again in the basement, and I'm so excited to have Steve Renazizi is here, everybody. You excited? I am, dude. <laughs> I really am. I, I'm, yes. I'm glad this you're into right it. right up my alley, too. Okay, good. I, I appreciate uh, it. Had I ever, like, when I ran into you somewhere, ever asked you to do this? Yeah. Did we talk about it? Once or twice. Because I don't think we've ever actually smoked together. I don't think so either. Um, no, I don't. I don't think oh, so. Oh, we did. Yes, we did. Where, where, where? Okay. <laughs> I was doing Cap City. For, uh -huh. It was like my second weekend there. And you were popping in doing one-nighters, and you came in and did Thursday. Uh-huh. And I did the rest of the weekend, and I but I came in that day, and we went to the green room, and we smoked Which there. Which is why they're called that. And then you held head to the Velvet? Did you go over there? I think? Uh, maybe. You might have. But the Vel yes. The Velveeta room? Yes. Yeah, but I love Cap City. I was just there last uh, Sunday. Awesome. And the day before that, I did. Have you ever been to LOL Comedy in San Antonio? No, I've never been to San Antonio. I was on stage there. Last week, I wore these glasses, these shitty, cheap sunglasses on this uh -huh. show. And then I left them on the table and left and then flew out of town. So I was like, you know how it is when you don't have sunglasses and you you're need at them. the fucking airport and stuff. And Those ones, perfect. <laughs> exactly. That'll do. Exactly. But I just didn't run across sunglasses uh, in my travels. So I was doing a show in San Antonio and I was on stage and I got a guy up on stage to play around and do something with him, but he had these on. Okay. And I was like, those are great. Can I try those on? And he was like, sure. And I was like, oh, these are amazing. Can I keep them? And he's like, sure. What? And so now I, ha now I have this guy's expensive. Oh my God. I thought you were going to say you stole them, <laughs> but you really kind of did steal them. I kind of did. I mean, I, I, you yeah. know, but he could have said no. He could have said, no, he I, said I don't no. want you to keep my sunglasses. But and he felt in the moment. And he, I think he felt probably, you know, if you, mm -hmm. you said no, the 400 some people would have booed him. Yeah. 400 exactly. How'd you know the size of the room? I don't know. I that's, figured that's your huge draw. That's, that's right impressive. around. That's impressive, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Well, that's what I love about that room is it's so big. Like, is, if, yeah. if you only had like 100 people in there, it would feel terrible because it it's got high ceilings. And I want to go down there. I've never been to San Antonio. Oh, you got to go. And it's only, then you can only, uh, you only have to drive an hour to get to Austin. So mm -hmm. it's great to link them up because some people from each will drive to the other and mm -hmm. they don't seem to have problems with each other. It's not like... Dallas and Fort Worth hate each other for some reason. Really? Oh, like yeah, Like, yeah, they won't yeah. go, people from one won't go, go to, to the, the other. other one, yeah. They're like, come over here. <laughs> it's like, it's 45 it's, minutes. Yeah, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today it's going to be, and of course you guys know Steve from uh, the league. How many seasons now? Seven? We did seven, yeah. Seven seasons on yes. the league. And um, we'll do his plugs where you can see him do comedy uh, at the end of the show. I never like the plugs right at the top. Because people, because people are scrambling for a pen to write down, like, oh, yeah, we yeah, haven't yeah. done anything funny yet. Oh, I thought you said the guests want to leave then. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. We're Some good. people do their plugs yeah, and, then and like, leave, you know and what? they don't even smoke. I'm out. See they don't you later. smoke at all. Yeah. Uh, no. So, yeah, we're going to start we'll smoking at end, yeah. right at 420, because right. it's always 420 somewhere. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Dang, 420 somewhere. Today, it's going to be 420 right here, because it's, uh, it's 418 right now. And uh, also up in Vancouver, Canada, obviously, because they're just straight uh, north of us. White Horse, Canada. White Horse, Canada. We'll be celebrating 420. And then for people who can't sleep in places like Abu Dhabi, Russia. <laughs> yeah, all these crazy places. Uh, it's going to be 420 AM. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Russia. I they'll, get a little. Get down with it. I get a little weird level of excitement every time. Uh, oh, there's the alarm. It's real quiet for some reason. My, my alarms go up and down. I have, don't know how to control them. I f yeah. All but it's on vibrate too, so that's why I noticed. So oh. it's so it's 19 minutes after the hour. So in just one minute, we'll start smoking. Okay. I've loaded up all these things with sativa because we always just assume. That's uh, good. Comedian types prefer up. sativa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do you have a gig tonight? I do. Yeah, yep. there you go. I do. So that's perfect. So go hard with the sativa. It's awesome. a sour diesel today. Nice. And we have Afghan Kush standing by if you want to just knock yourself out. Just um, and today's strains are provided by Nature Made Wellness Center out in Ontario, uh, Greater Ontario, California. So go check them out if you're out there. The greater, way. yeah. Yeah, if you're the, in Ontario, the don't do Empire? meth. Go see these guys. Is that the Inland Empire? Uh -huh. The yeah. Empire, as I like the to call Empire, it. The Empire, yeah. Yeah, they struck back. Um, yeah, so go ahead and uh, pick anything that you'd All like right. to uh, smoke Let's out smoke of. Already. Let's do uh... <laughs> That was Bender from. Uh, Look at this. This is beautiful. 
Yeah, go ahead and hit right, that thing. Fire it up. Give it a give it a whirl. This is awesome. See what happens. That's the real deal. Yeah, Thanks. that's fun because it's a you know, it's a pipe, but it's also a, a bubbler. <coughs> so it's a fun piece. Somebody was complaining <coughs> recently. This is a good one. Somebody complained that there wasn't enough smoke in the air on the show that you can't see the smoke <coughs> enough. <coughs> Seems pretty smoky to me right now. I can I ask a question? Uh huh. Because I started smoking pot like later in life, so I don't really know. I didn't do the research. Like the water in this kind of what does that do? It doesn't bring as much smoke into your lungs. Is that it? <laughs> Bam. Um, yeah, it just makes for a smoother uh, hitting experience. Not in like a, a bong. Someone's complaining. We should get a bong in here. Just a big old giant bong. Yeah. Because we haven't had one for a while. I, I broke the last one. Um, I have a nice two-footer glass one. Yeah. <coughs> yep. Hit that hard. I do. You live here in LA? I do. Oh, okay. I smoke a lot, but my wife doesn't smoke because my wife. The last time she ever smoked, it was 1998, New Year's Eve, and it, my friend had a like, uh, like a three and a half foot bong, one of the like those novelty size ones. <laughs> sure. And about 11:30 at night, she she pulled a bong head and. Everyone's kind of just talking, and, and then all of a sudden I go to the kitchen, she's sitting there by herself, right? And I go, hey, what's going on? It's like almost, she's like, no, I'm gonna go up to bed. Completely fine. And I'm like, really? What are you gonna go to bed for? She's like, well, I'm gonna die tomorrow. <laughs> and I wanna get a good night's sleep because I have some stuff I wanna do. I'm like, oh, really? You're gonna die tomorrow? She's like, yeah, I have a brain tumor. It's right here. I feel it. So that it's gonna kill me tomorrow, so I'm gonna go to bed early. And I was like, okay, I'll walk you up to bed. I walked her right up to bed, she fell asleep. Had no recollection of the next day. Hasn't smoked pot ever since. I can't ever blame a person for wanting to get a good night's sleep before they die. Of course, the you day know, before you want to be well die. rested for that. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm too tired. <laughs> yeah. Oh, today's the last day. Oh, Ooh, so exhausted. I can sleep in. <laughs> uh, if you knew you were going to die the next day, how could you even be the most restless sleep? Like you wouldn't be able to enjoy it. Um, we like to ask people their their high history, and you sort of just told us. Because I mean, you, I have my whole own high history. Because you said um, uh, that you started late. <coughs> how, how old were you when you started? Well, I smoked a couple times in high school. <coughs> um, right, the old try it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't really take. Then college was sort of a, uh, you know, not an everyday thing, but parties and, you know, there was like three, it was like three or four times a week. Mm. And not for a while. For my first four or five years, I just smoked whatever it was available. Yeah. And I became that annoying guy that was always like, hey, where's the weed at? Yep. You know? And then, you know, I started buying my own and just officially just gave in and became a person yeah, then, who smoked. Yeah, about five years ago is when I was like, okay, I'm going to, I enjoy this and I'm going to get a license. Oh, so you were a little bit into the league when you decided? Or no, I mean, I'd about the same yes, time. I, yeah, right around then I was like, I enjoy doing this and, you know, I'm going to get. You know, I'm gonna get a license and just do it correctly so that mm -hmm. I, you know, feel like a, a better citizen, I guess, that way. But this is, yeah, I like, I enjoy the different strains and, you know, I can sort of, I have a good control on it, but yeah, it's it's fun. I mean. And that's your favorite way to smoke is just out of a, a pipe? Yeah, you know, I like a volcano. I like to. I love the volcano. Yeah. I like the I like bags that. make a lot of noise. We use the bags on uh, when we do a show in a theater. Do you live. make them really big? Of course. You can, yeah, novelty size those bags. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's like Jiffy Pop or something. Yeah. But we use those bags in the live shows in the theater because we can't uh, light things on fire, mm -hmm. and we still want to get everybody really high. That's great. And those the volcanoes are great. They're awesome. Yeah, I love it. It's just except for all the. You know, like it's my volcano that we use on the show, and I don't want to carry it around everywhere, so the production has it. Yep. So I don't have it in my home, and sometimes I miss it because when it's just right there, and you can just turn it on and it's so go good. brush the your teeth while the bag right fills there. up. The first time I ever used one, I was in San Francisco, and I went. I was doing the punchline. I went to a shop, and it was one of those shops where you can buy and then go in the back and try. And they had these things, and I was like, I don't even know how to work this. And the guy showed me. He was real chill. Just the bag filled up, and I was like, holy cow, this is unbelievable. Then what temperature do you one, put it at? Usually around 365. Interesting. Why, is that too high? <laughs> Jesus, I feel like I just 
No? No, it's just that the dial on, you probably have digital. Digital, yeah. The dial on mine is just. Oh, yeah, that's the. It's this just one. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think. Yeah. And so I put it on like 6.5, I, I think. I actually bought two. Well, I bought two, but I. When Ari Shafir moved to New York, I was with him hanging out, and he's like, I need to get one of these. And he, we were out, and he didn't have his wallet with him, so I bought it. It was like six seventy five, and then he completely, we got back, we used it, and then we I, we went just went our ways. It was six hundred seventy five bucks? It's like six hundred seventy five bucks. Were, the, the digital the price volcano came, one? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I this was probably was, three years ago. Yeah, I thought it was coming down. but And then <laughs> it was like, um, like two months ago, he was like, holy shit, I don't think I paid you for this. And I was like, yeah, you didn't. The doctor would the the doctor that I got my medical card from uh, when I went in because I I, went, I dragged my feet for a long time on the medical thing too because I was just like I'm a white guy in L A I'm not, I'm not yeah not having trouble smoking weed and uh, but you know when we started to do super high me we were like well it's important that you be it be legal obviously for yep. filming it and everything so I went to the doctor and it was one of the shadiest ones because you know you have to go to one every year here yeah and I tend to see different ones each time because even if you go to the same building there's mm -hmm. a different person in there doing that job and they're always somebody that's like they've got a white smock on sometimes yes. a stethoscope I always like to see I've gone a couple <laughs> different ones and I like to see like the, the the seriousness in which they take it like I've had a guy come in fill out the paperwork, like the whole blood pressure thing. And then I've had other guys that are just like, whatever. Last, I've Skyped my last two. You can Skype if you go before. If you do it before the date, you can <laughs> Skype it with my doctor. Yeah, boom, over the internet. That's crazy. They send you the thing, you go pick it oh up. Oh my God, I had no idea. Done. My guy's at Van Nuys, I think. Can somewhere. you record your Skype while, you're, while it's happening? I don't know, I've never, I don't even know you could record Skype. I don't know, that's what I'm asking. Can what? you? I didn't jerk off. You know, because you can like. That's one thing I re I recently realized is that if somebody sends you a Snapchat that's super dirty or something, just fucking take a picture of it while you're oh, looking yeah. at it. You do. You got to be fast. You got to. You know. You got to have good reflexes. But yeah, it's easy. I don't know if you can record something though. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not, because <laughs> nobody's going. Sure, you can. So I don't think Maybe. you can. But. You know what I mean? Like also, like on your phone, if you're having a conversation with somebody, you could take a picture of them. You know, while you're having the FaceTime conversation. Sure. I mean, so that's so like if they're like naked or something, you know, oh. they just think you're just, it's just immediate and it's not going to be permanent. Because that's my whole thing is tricking women into being naked so I can take, <laughs> take a picture of them. Um, I, was, I was going to say, was, I went to, uh, sorry, I went to a game, that's all right. a football I'll game, write it down. where I got in last two weeks in Denver and uh, I got high and went to the bathroom. And then I was talking to my friend, and I was like, "What it would be funny if, what a horrible idea if, while you flush the toilet, it also took a, a, a picture of your dick and then sent it to all your contacts at once." As what like, if that happened? What, no, like if they invent, <laughs> like that would be the worst invention, or the best invention ever, or the worst invention ever. <laughs> if it just took a picture of your dick and then sent it to all your contacts. Is your face in the picture too? No, just your dick. But it's your contacts, so they're going to assume everybody it's your dick. in your contacts. Yeah, they're going to think it's your dick. Like, <laughs> but some people send other dicks. <laughs> some people like you could totally stunt dick it because like rarely is a guy's dick and his face in the pic, right? It's usually just his dick. Yeah. Like Anthony I've Weiner wasn't seen... like face no, I think and he was... Weiner. No, I. I think his was Weiner, face and Weiner. It was. Yeah, because that's, he like, that's like when he could body. finally no longer say, "Hey, I," you know. I think there was one where he because he like kept his saying that he was being body. tricked or that it was a. It was, yeah, and then he was like, "Cause when it, cause it is, you know, oh, that's you me. could always plausible deniability with with a just a picture of a dick. You could just say that's me or not me. Yeah, if it's the right color, you know. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> Sometimes it's the shade. The shade's off. Anthony Weiner got in trouble for sending out a black dick picture. <laughs> um, no, the thing I wanted to say was that uh, the doctor that I saw actually recommended buying a volcano because he says it's better for yep. your lungs because it's vapor. And uh, he said, think about it like buying a television set. Um, you invest in something nice that you'd like to just do? A, it's just something that you're going to love to have around. It's going to bring you years of pleasure. I've justified that, <laughs> and it has. I've had one for four years. The thing, I had it in New York. It was my house in New York. It was like five degrees. It was outside. Never broke. Never. Always did the job. Now it's here. Always. It's great.
But that was the extent of the, that was his complete medical advice to me. Oh, oh, oh was yes. go buy a volcano. Go yeah. Here's your license. <laughs> we wanted to film it for the movie, but at that point, nobody would even let you film really? the doctor's appointment. It's, I feel like it's gotten less shady, but I don't know. I've Skyped my last two, so he looked normal, you know. <laughs> it's a combination with each one of them, I think, of seeing a, a, a marketplace where you can make a lot of money because you can see so you can have so many appointments in a day. Sure. You know, you could just sit there and just write out Plow the them things. through, yeah. yeah. And they always have people helping them, so it's like it's not a labor intensive. And then also, they just might be uh, hippies or pro pro weed enough that 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 they they do they do find it important, and they yeah. do like giving, especially like the people that are getting it just because it's going to be recreational, and they're just saying, oh, I've got this problem or that problem just to get it. Uh, you know, I'm sure the doctors aren't thrilled that that scenario exists, part, yeah, that's but the, part but of the it. cancer patients make up for it. Mm -hmm. Like the people that are coming in there that are really in pain, yep. uh, that, that should make up for it enough that it's like, okay, let's let these other scamps get Absolutely. away with this. Yeah. But I'm just glad that legalization is starting to flip everywhere. It is. I was and that's the hope for this year in California. In New York now, it's legal, but it's only, it's not smokable, only edible. Right. And I think it's there's like, like two dispensaries. It's like something nobody could have kept track exactly. of anyway. Well, <laughs> yeah. So you know what I mean, like, yeah, that's <clears throat> edibles are the go-to when you're going to be in a, a police situation. I know. You know, you just because they never. I've never had anybody take an edible and say, "What is this?" Because it always looks like whatever it's supposed to be. Yeah. A Tootsie Roll or a gummy I mean, bear. You know, some of them. I don't like the way some of them have labels on them that are just very explicit about what they are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I this one's real small, but I, I can't read most of what's on that label. I mean, I travel with those, and those are the ones that it's like, yeah, no, it's a bag of, you know, it's a cookie, wrapped up. That's all it is. Like, what does that say on it? Can you can you read it? Jumbo. It's some sort of <laughs> spray. Jumbo. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> It's gotta I, be louder ever... next time, <laughs> and you gotta read this. You gotta be on it, especially when I already pointed to it. But you knew um, I was about to pick. I've it never up. done the spray. Is it? Is I was it just trying to set you up because we've got this thing where this guy goes jumbo. jumbo. Okay. So if you just said, "What is this?" What is this? Then he would have suddenly yelled jumbo. jumbo. There it is. And it would have been so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Gosh. It's my Boom. own version of a prank show. Like, the pranks are so dumb. That was like, you're too much tuna like, right there. <laughs> like, you just jumboed me? It's like this thing here. We always give this to everybody. What's this? It's, it's a lighter. Uh, be careful, because the flame comes out of his head when you twist his arm. When you give him a Ronda Rousey arm bar, his, his head f catches fire. The other arm. This way? You know, either way, I think. But yeah. yeah, it's crazy. And it's dying, because uh, oh. we've been doing that a lot. <laughs> This is awesome. For how many episodes now has the monkey been in our lives? She's. But what do you think of butane? it when you have to describe Where it? Where do you like put when it you in? First, pick Oof. it up. What does it feel like? Right there, but butane, right? Is that mm -hmm. what you shoot her with? Like okay. Ass. It's like an ass. But what does it feel like to you? That thing. That's what we try to get people to uh, answer the qu that question. Um, feels like a heavy nut. <laughs> he said heavy, <laughs> heavy monkey. Really, I love it. <laughs> Boo! Boo and Look at that. That's better. Oh. <laughs> People are working here too. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we were using. I had this thing for a few weeks when they would say "heavy monkey." Is it the Vuvuzela? Uh, that's exactly what it is. And um, somebody, uh, a couple of people, complained to me. They're like, "Bring back the air horn." The air horn. You should is get that. Uh, more fun. <laughs> The air horn. Oh, that one. Oh, you Jesus. don't like that one? No, but I was on a Just show recently app. where somebody can make that noise perfectly with his own mouth. Oh. And it, when he did it, and it was like, it freaked everybody out. It was so hilarious. Now I can't remember who it was. Um, oh, it was um, it was in San Diego, and I can't think of the dude's name right now, but I'm going to find it out during the break, or I'm going to forget about it entirely. We will be right back. <laughs> It's time to talk CISO. CISO is a premium comedy streaming channel. S-E-E-S-O. It's on demand, 24 seven streaming comedy, anytime, anywhere. It's curated for the comedy connoisseur. You know who you are. Original series, quotable classics, next day, late night, stand-up specials, and more. It's only $3.99 a month. 
No joke, no ads, ad free, countless hours of premium HD comedy. Never before seen new originals, new comedy added every week. Try it now for free. All you gotta do is start as a guest, no credit card needed. They've got lots of great content, including the UCB show. You've heard me talk about the UCB theater in New York and LA and how I love all the people involved in those places and I have them on my shows all the time. Well, the UCB show is a weekly variety sketch showcase from the original founders of the Upright Citizens Brigade, Amy Poehler, Matt Walsh, Matt Besser, and Ian Roberts. I've smoked with a few of them. I'm not going to lie to you. And you're going to love their show, and you're going to love CISO. Go to CISO.com and start watching all the comedy you can stream for free. CISO.com. Stream free today. No credit card needed. Back to the show. Are we back? Yes. We're back, you guys. Tweeting. We're on our devices. Retweet. Letting the world know about stuff. Letting the world know that we are. What is up? Neglecting you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we should be concentrating the, on the, the show. Thing. Yeah, but I really want to find out that dude's name because it's now it's really bugging me. Which guy? The guy that could go, boo, 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 boo. Like he made that noise oh. like perfectly with so his I know mouth. So I know the sound is annoying, but. <laughs> The app, there's a there's an app that like yeah. I wouldn't want it like it's to be such if a I, if fucking annoying sound. If you were shopping and you sound. heard someone's phone ring, was that oh, you would want I to hate, cut their head off. I right? gotta say, I'm not a fan of the old school uh, telephone ring on somebody's phone. What are you talking that's about? That's really loud. The just old a ring, ring. Oh. yeah, just and but it's always super loud, and it always just makes me go. Like I feel like I'm a time jumper, yeah. you know. Like why is that? Why is that sound of a phone suddenly My happening? It's so. It's like you don't see anybody dialing a phone like yeah. that ever. <laughs> but you, so you shouldn't also hear the noise that that <laughs> kind of phone makes. My friend's got Tony Soprano's ring from. Remember his his when his cell phone rang? Oh, I don't. I mean, I should, but I don't. Beep, 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 beep. That might be one of those things that I got. You know. Yeah. I got out of my head because that was that was the right thing to do. <laughs> Those, that one got and deleted. The, and the that right, file. And the right time to do it. Yeah. Uh, I I'm never going to. I'm never going to find that guy's name. I'm going to stop. Uh, we've got 2,372 people uh, enjoying, or I should say, watching. <laughs> that many people have it turned on on their uh, thing. Uh, I was told by uh, our house medic that um, yeah, we have somebody standing by. So smoke. You know, as much as you want, because right. you can you can pass out, and we got somebody that's gonna come by and go, yeah, right. it looks like he passed out, um, <laughs> and uh, offer you a lozenge. But um, uh, what was I gonna say? Originally, you were gonna find find out what the guy's name was, but we got past that. We got, Let's we, get past. I that. thought we got past that. We did. It's done. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, people are asking questions on Twitter, tweet, tweets. Johnny Hemp won. I don't know, that name gets through all the time. Uh, probably because his questions are so good. What was, is your, do you have a favorite moment from the league? I uh, guess he means on cameras, a favorite scene? Sure. Um, well, I, there's, there were a lot, but I'll say my first favorite, favorite moment was we were, uh, we had shoot the, the first like six episodes, we were shooting the last episode, and uh, we had just found out that uh, Paul Shear's character had won, but Nick Kroll's character, Ruxin, was claiming victory for it. So he's running around the house, and it was the last thing we were shooting in a day, <clears throat> and he comes over and I'm supposed to hand him a sandwich, and the first take, Nick, because we improvised the show, Came over, goes, I won, we did it, we did it, I did it. And then he grabs my face, because my hands were tied up, grabs my face and just kisses me as hard as he could. And everyone laughed, it was great. And I was like, all right, so now I'm preparing. I don't know him that well. I'm preparing <laughs> for a different type of kiss. We do the take again, <laughs> comes over, <clears throat> he goes to lean in for the kiss, and he punches my dick and balls so hard and got every piece of meat that you could possibly hit and I had everything, because my hands were up, and I buckled down, and then I came up, and I just said, I hate my friends. And we used it, and it broke. And, and I remember Nick laughing so hard, and then coming over and being, dude, I'm so sorry. Because you know he was like, I know this is the funniest thing that I can do. It doesn't <laughs> matter. I'll deal with the consequences <laughs> later. But he was apologetic for having done it to, to uh, you know, not a stranger, but, and it was, well, I knew at that point, I was like, holy shit, we're gonna have a fuck, if they let us do whatever we want like this, we'll have a blast. 
And we, I, we fucking, we did. <laughs> but that was it for but the ball, ball like, punching? Yeah, I mean, that was... Because that, yeah. that was the one. Like, yes. it wouldn't be funny another time. No. He would never have gotten away with it again. Even if he just flinched at it, I would have always... You're not going to... Yeah, him. you wouldn't stand there like I was that. wide open. You were I just never ready for it. And it just, That's I like the guy that like, lets you drop in the uh, catch-me game. If I was like game. this, and then you just blasted me. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't, don't drink and smoke at the same time, mm -hmm. then. You'll be safe. Micah Sherman was the dude's name. And it was... Oh, okay. A, yeah. Sweet. And uh, he just... He, he just made that noise and it was amazing. So good for him, right? Uh, let's do the state of pot, which is where we uh, just take a look back at the results from the last episode. Uh, Oregon was the state that the most people watched uh, this program. Uh, Oregon's ninth win total and it broke DC's five show streak. But DC came in second, so don't, don't cry for our state capital. I just went to Portland for the first time. First time ever? <laughs> in like, yeah, my life, but like about two months ago. Oh my awesome. God, it was amazing, right? So much fun. Where'd you play? The Helium. Helium, there. it's a gas. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so natural when I say it. Uh, uh, and California got uh, uh, finally beat by a few states uh, this time. Uh, it dropped finally. to number eight, California. California is always in the top five. And uh, cocky fucks. Maine and New Hampshire jumped in. There's that Bernie yeah, Sanders was love that, right there. Was that because uh, John That's... DiMaggio is such a uh, kind of? Uh, it was John DiMaggio and uh, Open Mike Eagle were the guests. Awesome. Yeah, it was so fun. This is more fun though. Could be awesome though <laughs> that Bernie Sanders though. Bernie Sanders, you know, does right. well in Iowa. Right. Bernie Sanders Maine. is just maybe when people click That's on it. Bernie Sanders shit, they somehow find this show. Yeah. Very progressive. This show is is an anti Bernie Sanders. I, I'm, no. I'm I'm not necessarily He'd pro Bernie Sanders. I mean, I'm just like anybody but the you know the Republicans. Sure. <laughs> I'm hoping it. Even even I'm Bloomberg. Even I don't give a fuck. Mike Bloomberg. Yeah. Very be weird, right? If he just came in. He's gonna be independent. Trump's gonna be independent eventually because like he's gonna get game. tired. Like, Bloomberg's of... just gonna be like, "Here's a billion. I'm all in. <laughs> let's just see. Let's have a personality contest." Yeah, because Trump's gonna go independent, I think. So that's gonna be really weird if there's two independents that could actually get votes, and then a Democrat and a Republican. Somebody's just gonna squeak by with the win. A four-way? Well, it could be. Could, I thought could isn't stretch there, out isn't like there that. Isn't there a minimum you have to get? No, no. There's you know there's tons of stupid little parties that put people up for president that you don't even. You know, you'd barely even hear no, about it. No, I'm saying, isn't, isn't there like a minimum of the population that you have to get? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Because maybe. there's a minimum amount. You have to get a certain amount of electoral things. But like if it's split three ways evenly and you never got to that number, I don't know. How does that work? I don't know. I think Congress gets to decide. Holy That's not going to be guys. good. Let's figure this <laughs> out. You have, to, you have to have 15% of the caucus. You have to have 15%? Are we going to no, I'm no. talking about the general election. Thanks, Daniel. Let's just say Hillary Clinton. So glad you rested to Hillary do that. Hillary Clinton, <laughs> Donald Trump, and Marco Rubio run against each other. And it's a it's an electoral college three-way split. Isn't there a minimum you have to get to to get the number? Maybe they'd electoral. have a, like a runoff between the top two or something? Or It's always been like 2-2, two, two, and then there's always like Ross Pro got like a certain amount of people. But what if it was a legitimate I'm sure it's a whole complicated thing. Like they bring out a chalice, and they do, do a prayer, <laughs> and then they... <laughs> Everybody has to stay up all night. They all wear their jammies. I have the information. Oh, he has it. Here we go. The Amendment says if the Electoral College fails to elect a president or vice president, then the House of Representatives will select a president with each state delegation having only one vote. Got it. It's a mess. Oh, boy. Total mess. That'd That's be a nightmare. Let's do it. But I guess that, <laughs> I mean, theoretically, that just isn't going to happen. But, no. But Hillary's slide lately uh, is really uh, alarming because it's really kind of making it anybody's game since, since there's not a lock anymore. But you know what though? That's good. Would you I if you're if you're rooting again democratic, wouldn't you rather her sitting there have to like, you know, go at it a little it's not gonna be easy in the in the No, I know, election. but I've been dying to see her and Trump have to talk to each other. That is gonna be the most fascinating well, thing. It will. <laughs> it, it it will. I mean because uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't like they, either of their personalities much. 
You know, I no. disagree with one more a little bit politically, but I kind of agree with both of them because he was always a Democrat and he's, and he's still in the back of his mind, probably doesn't give a shit about a lot of the things he's saying he's for. Yep. He just saw an opportunity like that if I just step up and I'm a Republican, I can get those people. Yeah. Like he knew his family. I wish Chris Christie and Kasich got a little more. Vo I think those guys are a little more even keeled on that side. But well, Kasich, I like the best, I guess, of those if I had to pick. But Chris Christie's my, you know, he's my mortal enemy because he thinks this should be uh, illegal. Yeah, what we're doing here. Sure. And he also says things like, you know, over my dead body will marijuana become legal in in New Jersey. It's just like, oh my God. It'd be so hard to kill that guy. How many times do you think you'd have to stab him before? <laughs> he, could probably, he could probably hold so many bullets oh. in that body. Okay. <laughs> Sir, you, do we get, you can get in trouble about saying something like that about somebody well, that's a sitting he, official, right? I don't uh, know how uh, high up. The, you got to be governor, all the, the he's top. Governor. Yeah, as a governor. Or as a president. Don't threaten governors, you guys. <laughs> no more. Don't, here on out. Don't listen to me. And also, <clears throat> don't always vote third party. Yeah, that's a always weird. Vote third, that's a third. weird one. Why not? Well, because you know, sometimes it could that could tip it so that the, the you I know, know. The, the dark side wins. You'd have to get everyone to vote third party, and that'll never happen. It's hard to get, but I, I don't think never is the right. It's going to take the right candidate, like. Like if Trump had started out independent and just stayed there, like if he just stayed in his own lane, like if he just made speeches everywhere and wasn't involved in any of the Republican I don't think he circuits, he's going to get to where he. I think honestly, I don't know. he's like. But uh, just off of his celebrity, he he could get pretty far, and also off of how entertaining he is to everybody. You know, probably like, was just trying to promote a, another season of Apprentice. It was on the ledge. Well, now it's like he you know, know he got fired now. from that right away after the yeah. comment about uh, Mexicans being raped. So that probably got him pissed. And then uh, he, now they got Arnold Schwarzenegger is uh, the new host of uh, uh, Celebrity Apprentice, which is going to be doing it here. Ridiculous. They're doing it here in Los in Angeles. LA. Yeah. I cannot wait to see it. It's gonna be gorgeous. You are dismissed. <coughs> hasta la vista, baby. He's gonna say hasta la vista, baby, at some point. To course, some, like, to what somebody. That the, might be the thing oh, he says every week, because he, he might want to rebrand it and not you be imagine? you're fired. Hasta la vista, baby. They have to have had that discussion already. Episode one. And every commercial break, when they go to commercial, I'll be back. It's like, it's pre-writes itself. <laughs> pre-writes. You think I'm gone, but I'll be back. Yeah. Oh <laughs> fuck. Don't change the channel. I'll I can't. I can't wait to hate that show. I will watch every episode. Yep. Do you do you uh, watch a lot of like a Bachelor and stuff? Like I that? used to watch all that shit all the time, and then kind of like before that, I used to play video games all the time. There's always kind of something that takes up all my time, and now it's uh, you know, podcasting. Yeah. And smoking weed. But uh, I like HGTV sometimes. You yeah, watch that? yeah, yeah. I'm into that. Yeah, that's cool. That's mindless stuff to me, but it's I, you know. I just uh, yeah, it's just weird. Like I also I, I, I used to watch poker all the time. Oh yeah, on TV. Oh, that was constantly. Six and I kind years of, of my uh, life. I kind of went back to it recently. I caught some poker. On, like there was a celebrity poker thing, and I knew all the guys that were playing. Yeah, Phil Ivey. No, no, you know, uh, Kevin Pollack and oh, oh. Uh, the celebrity table. The ones table. that they used to do on like NBC. No, it's this new one where they took five pros, played against each other, and five celebrities. And then uh, the third episode is like, or I don't know how many episodes they did because I didn't get to watch all of it because they suddenly cut away to, I was watching NBC Sports. Uh -huh. So after a couple great hours of poker, then they go, now off to golf. Yeah. It's like, oh, God damn it. Uh, but because uh, <laughs> I wanted to see more of it because, you know, Don Cheadle, uh, Kevin Pollack, Norm MacDonald, yeah. Hank Azaria, and uh, one more. Shit, that was so good. Yeah, those, <laughs> I, I used to, I played like those years that were so popular. I'd play and you'd watch it. Brad Garrett. Brad Garrett, yeah. Boom. So those five guys uh, were playing, and so it was just fun to watch them play poker against each other, mm -hmm. and you know, and see all their cards, and you know, know what they were. You know, like one point, Kevin Pollock made a really smart fold, yep. but never revealed his hand. None of the rest of the table didn't know. Did you ever watch what, that? What a smarty he is. Did you ever watch that late night one where the pros would bring like yeah. a million of their own dollars? Oh yeah, like a that real was. Money I would, would go play. to bed at I would night love to that. that was, I would. That would I be like I'd show. watch that till I fall yeah. asleep.
Yes. Yeah, that's... I used to love that shit. But the point of the whole thing that we were talking about is I just go through these waves of shit that I do oh, too much stuff? of. And this last year, that's okay, though. last year I, I challenged myself and I did it. I saw 365 movies I'd never seen before. Oh my God. In one year. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy because I, I had 60 movies to go in mid-December. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. But I just watched movies just very randomly and, and movies that I wanted to see. Like, I obviously, I saw every single one of the things that are in contention for the Oscars now because they were all out in December. Mm -hmm. And I was just seeing everything I could, you know? And, and also just trying to keep it interesting for myself. I didn't, I didn't want to watch shitty movies. Yep. But out of 365, I think I liked, I think I would give a recommendation, like, to 80 of them. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't... That wasn't good. So you feel good like, batting yeah, average. That that two hundred and eighty hours was just sort of. Ooh, ooh, it was well. It was it was fun and times. interesting and and also just a challenge to myself because yeah. it's you know it's just interesting to because the previous year I had made the challenge that I'd see that many movies and I and I did, I was so far behind mid year I just gave up. So it's like you know it's like those people that like you know they have a shot at the Olympics they don't get in they wait four years. Yep. Gold medal. I gold medaled in my own stupid watching movies challenge. Let's do some pot topics. I, I, time is flying by right now, and uh, there's so much going on. I've got like eight <coughs> pot topics here. Pot topics. Ooh, let's Ooh. like let's almost gave the magician this shit, and I'll fan them out, and you'll pick one, and then we'll talk about it. Not the Poke Bowl advertisement. <laughs> Man, what this is, is fun. This is gonna be a fun way to do this. What is this stuff called, man? Jumbo. See, once, we, yeah, once we did the jumbo, they were really re not ready to do it again. They didn't know that was gonna happen again. <laughs> Figured I'd. <laughs> but for those those just tuning in, that might have been pretty pretty hilarious. Uh, okay, so <coughs> pick a card. All right. Any one of these. We're gonna talk about it. Bam. Oh, I wish it wasn't that one. Shit, why? Is it <laughs> Do you wanna set it marked? up? I'll set oh, it up. Go for it. Washington, D.C., as we mentioned earlier, the Democratic controlled uh, Washington, D.C. City Council has unanimously passed a bill that will study how the city could implement licenses for businesses that wish to allow smoking, paving the way for potential pot clubs in Washington, D.C. That would be so yeah. effing sweet. To just clubs. be in DC, just go into a place to sit around and smoke. That's a fun town to be high in. Yes, you know? it is. Because it's, it's a beautiful city and historical, of course. I, and, I uh, do the DC improv usually around June or July one, every year, and I love it. I go down there and I. Yeah, I did July I last year. It was amazing. And, and it was great. You'd walk around the city, so beautiful, and the crowds are always so great there. And that is a great, that would be a great city to have that option in. That'd be like San Francisco of the East Coast then. They unanimously opposed it like one year ago. <clears throat> Just in one year, they were like, eh, okay, let's yeah. maybe do that. Let's go I know it's I know that. it's pretty liberal there to try to like, you know, they're they're pretty okay with it, but Yeah. No, they're great. real okay with it. They, they legalized it. Yeah. That'd yeah. be an awesome option. It's pretty pretty hilarious to me too, because like, you know, Politicians that are against legalization have to work in the city and be a part of a system that's that's you know saying it's okay. Let's do another one. That's that was worked out great. Good. Oh. That was so good. I want to blow my vuzuvula, <laughs> vuzuvela. Do you remember like when at uh, you know at uh, soccer, football, when they would uh, everyone in the stands would have those. Like yeah. in Brazil, and they'd all blow them the entire game. I mean, it's the most annoying it was, sound. Yes, it was. It's like Jim Carrey in uh, Dumb and Dumber. I know. It, it was like people were like, it, "Are there flies there?" Is that yeah. like the cicadas? It was the most I know annoying. everyone in the East Coast yeah. like, probably had it. cicadas. You know, those yeah. annoying bugs. I couldn't stand it. I'd still watch the games, but then uh, and then they just took them all away from everybody, and now yeah. it doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> So weird, because the whole time it. I had my own, so I was always kind of like, "Oh, I hate that sound," but I do own that instrument. That didgeridoo is annoying too. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, we probably haven't been smoking enough, and we'll have to get to this pod topic okay. right after this break because it's time for another break. We'll be right back. <laughs> they squeezed in a pod topic.
I'm Dan Levy and I'm the host of Baby Talk. What is Baby Talk? I'll tell you. It's a show where I take my comedian friends and bring them together with little children and a bunch of weird shit happens. And I'm DJ Jensen Cart. You see, for the past three years, we've been doing a live show over at the Meltdown Theater in Los Angeles. And we thought, hmm, how can we make less money? Let's put it on the internet. So we've taken our strangest kids from the live show and paired them with our favorite broken comedians. And we filmed nine episodes for you to watch online. It's an original show that seems very similar to Kids Say a Darnest Things because it is very similar to Kids Say the Darnest Things. And you're gonna love the show, even if you hate kids, especially if you hate kids. Have fun watching, it's very funny. Well, if you remember, we saw you, I think, three weeks after I gave birth yes. at a wedding. Yeah, it was not, and you were not <laughs> yeah. great then. We I barely remember great. that. Yeah, <laughs> like the first two months have been erased from existence. Like I was been in a coma, but the coma was just dealing with a two month baby, yeah. yeah. And I saw people, you didn't do this, you were so sweet, but I saw people, I couldn't stop talking, I just couldn't stop talking. And I saw people at that wedding back away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready to be out with people. <laughs> Jason, do you see them less? Well, it's it's interesting. I will say this. My life, uh, relatively un unaffected by their baby. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Get It Done with Hi. Hey, welcome back to Gigantic Dinosaur Who's Horny. Uh, our guest today has been Steve Renazizi, who you can see Z at Stand Up Live in Phoenix. That's a, a beautiful, yeah. massive venue. Big, big place. Yeah, yeah, so that's next weekend, February 12th through 14th. Oh, Valentine's, Valentine's Night. We're going to do a show. Oh, it's ladies. Be beautiful. Bring your boys, bring your <laughs> friends, bring your girls. Yeah, that's going to be. <laughs> That'll be fun. You, yeah, you, we'll you, see. You know, you're married, so you got a lot of things to say about Valentine's have, Day. Uh, yeah, let's. Well, I'll talk about it. Yeah. Why not? Um, and then uh, you'll be at Zany's in Nashville, February 18 through 20. Yep. That's Falling a great again. club. Absolutely. That's super fun. They got like a, a drunk driver character falling out of a car. Mm -hmm. Uh, drawn Those on the wall. Great old headshots at that point. And old headshots. Ooh. Yeah. It's a headshot. Old yeah, it's a nice. great old headshot buffet. <clears throat> Steve Ranazizi on Twitter, R A N N A Z Z I S I. I'm going to be in San Diego on Wednesday, February 10th, doing Douglas movies at the American Comedy <coughs> Club. It says American Comedy <coughs> Club. It's American Comedy Co. Co. Oh, have you tried this thing? Nope. Just press the button. It's okay. it's uh, delicious. It's a Honey Farm favorite pen. American Comedy Co. in San Diego. Uh, that's February 10th, and I've got shows coming up in Fort Lauderdale, New York City, San Jose, Denver, and more. DouglasMovies.com. You guys know where to go to merch. We'll put, <coughs> get merch. <coughs> Buy Ooh. cards. Subscribe and like. And what's on your card there, Steve? Oh, okay. Did you like that, by the way? This thing. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is uh, adults versus teens. A new study shows that use of marijuana is increasing among adults, but decreasing among teens. Data from the National Survey Everything on drug use going in the right direction. and health shows that over the past decade, marijuana use has significantly increased among adult ages 18 to 25 and 26 and older, even though cannabis use for the young people aged 12 to 17 has decreased. Their perception of the risks of using it has decreased suggesting they may be more likely to use it in the future. Sure, when Pro they're older. Yeah, when they're it's at the proper age and they can it's decide. It's not for kids. Yeah. Yeah, and they, you know, and the, some kids will sneak it and try it and like it or not like it, but it's just, it just happens naturally. I have naturally. two sons, and I'm going to treat this exactly the way my father treated alcohol. It was like, you are, you know, you're gonna get it when you're ready to get it. Not when you say you're ready to get it. Yeah. And that's it. And they, you know, they could either figure out a way to get it without you knowing or, you yeah. know, uh, <laughs> or not. And it just, you know, depends on the kind but of kid they are, you know. Exactly. Like, like I tried it in high school, but my parents didn't have to worry about it because I just, it, it just didn't take, you know. Exactly. They should have been worried about me, you know, driving home from the bar at uh, two in the morning, which I did frequently in college. Really? Uh, you yeah. know, I, I, I've definitely dr driven drunk in my life. 
and uh, my it's parents way are different than that. <laughs> driving high. That's yeah. for sure. Oh, absolutely. It's crazy how different it is. Are you ready to see a magic trick? Please, I'd All love right, to. Here you go. My goodness. It's game time. <clears throat> hey, Steve. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh shit! I it's love this card. Any right. card. <laughs> Any card. Yeah. Okay. All right, memorize it, show it to that camera okay. over there. Ooh. Good one. Okay. All right, place it back here. Okay. You can just put it on right top. There. I'll cut it back into Got the center. It. All right, give them a shuffle. Couple of cuts. All right, now tell me when to stop anytime. Stop. Okay, right there. I'm just going to listen to the cards for a second. I think I got it. Fucking nailed it, man. Yeah. <laughs> he nailed it. Yeah. That was in one of the reviews. That's in his uh, bio. And you know what? Fucking I'll be honest. It, at some points, I was looking for, like, I wasn't really looking at your hands. I'm looking to, you know, other places, and I didn't see any shit. But that was real. <laughs> Good job, yeah, magic. You didn't see anything. No, that was amazing. Yeah, you just thanks, did it. man. Uh, thank you for for being here and being this a great a guest and smoking a lot. If you could sign that for us, we'll send it out to Look somebody. Here. And uh, what should I uh, hit as we go out here? Uh, um, can I hit that pen again? Yeah, yeah, you can. Isn't it good? I like this. Those are tasty and smooth. Yep. I like them, and they're great for you know when you're out in situations, you know. Uh, when you got to be professional, you know, or you know, Disneyland. Absolutely. You, know, you go to the smokers area out of respect, this even is a though great the one. smell this is delicious. Great. This is um, I like this. All right, I'll hit that again. Yeah. It's blueberry. <laughs> I'll go out on this. Um, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Thank Steve wasn't easy, everybody. <laughs> that is easy. And. Um, Next show is, uh, we're not sure exactly, but we got some, uh, we're definitely gonna do like a show a week for the next few weeks, because we got some great people lined up, but uh, the only day we're sure we're not gonna be on next week is Wednesday, because I'll be in sweet home San Diego. But all the other days are up for grabs. So it could be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Just come back to you know my page here at youtube.com slash Doug Benson. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>